California courtroom. It's after a judge refused to dismiss a civil lawsuit against Cosby by Judy Huff. She claims the comedian forced her to perform a sex act on him at the Playboy Mansion back in the mid-70s when she was just 15 years old. Cosby denies those allegations. Evacuations are underway in South Carolina as residents there prepare for even more flooding. Residents along the coast are being urged to move to higher ground. People previously spared from the remnants of that record-breaking rainfall are now in the path of swollen rivers. Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson plans to get a first-hand look at that flood damage later on today. And the Virginia Task Force One team from our area continues to help flood victims there in South Carolina. Now, this is a picture of the team helping out an adult and child right out of their car that was trapped in floodwaters. The victims were rescued without injuries. And they just always do such a good job going into harm's way, whether it's earthquakes or tsunamis overseas or, you know, floods here at home. We really appreciate the work that they do. Agreed. All right, so we will see some rain, what, this evening? Yeah, this evening. I mean, some spots are already seeing some showers. Really? The good news is, though, Jumi, it's not going to be a washout of okay. a weekend. So the rain moves in today, and then we say sayonara, and we welcome some really nice air tomorrow if you like that fall feel. But right now on satellite and radar, tracking some of those showers west of D.C., push Pushing eastward, though, so here in the city, we may actually see those clouds thicken pretty quickly and a few of those light rain showers. Nothing severe, no thunder, no lightning, but again, these showers making their way east through Fauquier County, approaching Fairfax, and eventually moving through D.C., but it's all part of the bigger picture. We have a cold front approaching from the west, and here is that front right now stretching through Pennsylvania and Ohio. Ahead of the front, very mild. I'm sure if you've stepped outside, you feel how comfortable it is, but it's actually going to turn much cooler once this front slides through. We're sitting at 73 degrees right now at Reagan National, but off to the west, Chicago, Detroit in the upper 50s. So it kind of gives you an idea of the air mass that's going to move in. So taking you through the rest of the day, sunset 639. Oh my goodness, we keep losing so much daylight. So temperatures climbing into the upper 70s, and then those thunderstorms start to roll in. I'm thinking the best chance of those, maybe even a little bit later. So between 5 and 7, and then we start to clear out overnight. One thing, though, to keep in mind, if you've got kids that are playing maybe some high school football, make sure that you download our Stormwatch 7 weather app because there may still be some thunderstorms around. If you hear thunder, head indoors. You know the motto, if thunder roars, head indoors. So just keep that in mind. Temperatures will fall from the 70s into the 60s and eventually into the upper 50s overnight as that rain begins to wrap up. Then tomorrow, it's going to be awesome. In fact, tomorrow, a lot of stuff going on. One thing in particular, the Million Man March kicking off at 10 a.m. Temperatures will be in the 60s. Any morning clouds will give way to sunshine, but it's definitely going to feel cooler. Great if you're heading out to the taste of D.C. as well. Temperatures in the 60s, lots of sunshine, so grab the sunshades. And a little bit chilly on Sunday morning for the Army 10-miler. Temperatures will start off in the upper 40s and will climb to about 60 degrees by 11 o'clock, but we will have a warming trend through the rest of the weekend. 70 degrees on Sunday, 74 for Columbus Day on Monday if you're just so lucky to have a three-day weekend and then kick-starting the next work week, I guess, for those of us that do have to work, I guess, Tuesday. <laughs> well, I guess all of us do. We'll have another chance for a few showers. All right. It looks like it's going to be a pretty good weekend. And I think runners actually appreciate that type of weather because it's kind of cooler. Your body heats up. You're not sweating. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Right. Good luck to all those runners, by the way. Absolutely. All right, Eileen. Thank you. We'll be right back after the break with more news. Stay with us. This Halloween, mix it, match it, make it your own. Only Party City has more to make it yours. Endless options, millions of costumes, more choices for less. Who are you going to be? Party City and PartyCity.com. Nobody has more Halloween for less. Stormwatch 7, on your side. Closed captioning is brought to you by Luna. Buy one room, get another room free. Free flooring, free padding and materials, and free installation. 877-241. Luna. In an emergency, seconds count. 